Good afternoon, Next Bell fans. Uh, we are preparing to release version 7, and when I say we, I mean myself. Um, I've been working on it consistently now for maybe the last three, four weeks, trying to tidy everything up, um, looking at improving routines, adding some new features. Um, so one of the requested features that I get asked for all the time, uh, despite there already being um, some features in the current version of the next build, however, it's slightly difficult to implement, um, is to have interrupt-driven AYFX and music playing at the same time. So I decided to take a closer look at this and see how how could we write some good subroutines that would simplify the process and remove some of the complexities and also free up the memory as well because traditionally you would you would normally have to load your sample effects into a certain space in your memory address and similar with the the music routine unless you've already got experience in in doing banking um so i decided to take all those uh, feature requests and kind of roll them up into one so in version seven of our next build uh, we've got a couple of new things. I won't go into everything now because this is specifically to do with the interrupt. So um, I'm now using uh, VS Code. Um, it's going to be the preferred tool to use. Um, it's designed around that now, but it still will work with, with um, the original ball ride and if you want to use Notepad++, um, there's support for that as well. So we'll just kind of skim through the code. We're not going to go through everything in, in great detail. Um, so I've got my interrupt mode to demonstration loaded up into VS Code. Um, it's already got the required tasks to be able to build uh, the next files. So we can go to run uh, build task and it'll actually compile and create a next file um, and launch with CSpec. A couple of things that we, we need to do now. Um, the org address is set in the beginning of the basic file if you don't set this it will default to 32765 so don't worry if you it's not it's not compulsory but it is required if you want to move that start address around um the next thing that we've got is um we now have defined so we can define um certain global definitions that will affect how nextlib works um the first one is if we are defining a next, that will mean that the final next will disable all the load SD bank routines and all the files will actually be um, included inside the next binary. Um, we also have, um, we're telling next build that we want to use the IM2 routine. Um, the I could go into some great detail about how we now check if interrupts are enabled if we're on IM1. Um, but if we're going to be using the, the interrupt-driven AYFX routines and music, then we're going to be running our own custom interrupt. So these must be, be defined uh, prior to you um, including the next lib. And then we've got a standard ZX basic compiler keys because I want to read the keys. I wouldn't recommend using in keys. The next, with its architecture and being able to page in memory, banks all over from zero to um, the top of RAM. You kind of want to avoid as many ROM routines as you as, as possible. Um, there's, there's no real need to, to use them and they can lead to complicated scenarios where sys files might not be available. But anyway, we're going to keep it simple. So we're going to make the, the border black. Then we've got a chunk of load SD bank routines. Um, the description of how this works here and the documentation will go into it even further um probably the only bit we're really concerned in is the um is the bank at the end so this is the 8k bank that we will load that font into and then and then we are going to load the next font into bank 39 we're going to load an ayfx bank into bank 36 we're going to load a ProTracker tune into bank 34. We shall load another ProTracker tune into bank 34, um, but at an offset of 4K. We will then load the um, VT Vortex Tracker play routine into bank 33. And I'm going to load a bunch of tiles that we're just going to draw on the screen just to make something visual happen while the interrupt is playing in the background to bank 40. 
Uh, we've got some rudimentary next registers set layer two on and transparency. Then I'm expanding the clip area to make sure it's full screen. Uh, for convenience, I'm just assigning some constants to the banks that we've loaded in our fonts uh, just to make the, the basic uh, listing a little bit more easier to follow. And then I'm going to um, define some global um, unsigned bytes that we're going to use throughout the routines. Um, then to initialize everything, um, we simply do uh, init SFX and then point it to the bank where we loaded our um, AYFX bank. And then we're going to initialize the music with the play routine. And then the first tune and the address offset in that memory bank of that first tune. And then we're going to call setup IM. And you'll notice we don't have to define anything such as the vector table, um, the I register. Uh, we don't have to worry about things being aligned. Um, all of this is taken care of within in the subroutines. And then we do we do a macro enable SFX, which just means that when the routine starts, we, the, the sound effects are also enabled. We can disable those as well if needs be. And the same with music. Um, we show some messages, which is just a routine down here, just to print some stuff on the screen. And then we just go into a loop where if we detect um, space, we're going to play a sound effects um, and then print some text. If we press key one, we're going to initialize the first song and enable the music that will actually start the music playing. Um, and key three will disable the music um, or actually pause it. And then key two will initialize the second tune and enable the music. And then key four will continue the music. So let's give that a run and it should launch in C spec. And the compilation information will be displayed down here. So it'll give us some useful information about where it is, how it's been compiled, if it was successful. Okay, so this is the example running. You can see there the tile routine just lazily printing next build up and down the screen. Um, so we can press uh, one and tune one starts to play. And press two, tune two starts to play. Um, if we press space, we can and we can pause the music and still have the effects going. We can continue from where we left off. Or we can reinitialize and easily swap between the two. And as I said, all this is handled, all the banking is handled in the background within the libraries. You don't have to worry about anything. Um, it will allow you to just use the full addressable memory space um, and not be concerned about having to page in at um, C000 or moving things into RAM, all handled by the routines. Very simple, very straightforward to use. Um, hopefully uh, we'll be having the new version of uh, next build with Boreal's latest ZX Basic compiler. Um, potentially at the end of this weekend, um, I'm trying to work as fast as I can to get everything tidied up. Um, but hope you've liked this small example, and I'll see you next time.